the inception of our friendship marked a profound and deep platonic bond that unfolded without grandeur. While romantic tales of love at first sight abound, narratives of friends recounting the moment they fell for each other are rarely shared. Santa Fe and Esmeralda. The art style on this was really lovely. It looked very AI generated, but what I appreciated was that the filmmakers took live action shots and what they did in the edit by using a mask and kind of layering it with the AI images, with the story that they were telling. It, using both of those images, it really sold the story, which was awesome, by the way. I mean, the story was very poignant and it was very heartfelt. The voiceover in this, sheer perfection. I mean, just sheer perfection. The cadence, the emotion and her inflection and everything, that's a key thing that just draws you in and holds your attention all the way to the end. So yeah, great job. Santa Fe and Esmeralda. This was a beautifully done piece. This is such a great exploration in storytelling. Not needing full animations, not needing anything other than a voice carrying us through the journey. And I thought the images that they used were beautiful in order to bring this to life. There's a real vibrancy to the color, which I think brought us into the location, dropped us right in. And not only did we have the static images, but then we also had the, the real filmed images that I thought was a really nice textural balance between it two and helped illustrate the story, but didn't detract from it in terms of just letting us sit and listen. And it really felt like listening to a journal entry or, or somebody revealing their life story on a very intimate evening. And I appreciated that. It allowed me to just hone in and let the story wash over me in more of a meditative way. Uh, I really appreciate this. I thought it was beautifully done. Santa Fe and Esmeralda. I thought this was really, really beautiful. I thought the way they told the story was really, really beautiful. I thought how they chose to kind of illustrate the story was was really, really lovely and had such you know, an artistic eye and there was a lot of color, but it was also very, very kind of elegant. Um, and I think that that paired well with the story itself. I think that that this style of what you were seeing, kind of like the elegance and the color and, you know, the, the fluidity of it almost really, really applied to the story as well. I think that they kind of helped enhance each other which I thought was really, really great. <clears throat> and then the story itself, I think is amazing and just goes to show how much you do or don't know about somebody in the beginning. And even when you think that you know them well, how much they could still be struggling with, you know, kind of behind the scenes or underneath the surface. And I thought that this was a beautiful story of friendship and, you know, companionship and, I thought it was really, really lovely. This film was called Santa Fe and Esmeralda. This was a thoughtful and stirring LGBTQ plus short. I was completely drawn into the storyline of the piece. The narrator's voice was soothing and soulful. Although the piece was fictional per the note at the end, it was a very believable narrative of memory, loss, and friendship. The CGI images were simply gorgeous. I enjoyed the use of stylized silhouette and bold colors with occasional real video footage underneath. The text was remarkable, a combination of storytelling and poetic imagery, such a sensitive approach to the tragedy of AIDS. Finally, I really appreciated the wistful classical score, notably of piano and strings. What a beautiful short. Check it out.